Do you know what an equal sign is? An equal sign means that whatever is on this side is the same as whatever is on the other side of an equation. Take this equation for example. I have 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. What the equal sign is saying that 5 plus 3 is the same as 8. And that's true. I have 8 blocks on both sides of the equation. Now I'm going to demonstrate that with a balance. So if I have 4 plus 2, well, what is that on the other side? I'm just going to add blocks until I find out. So it looks like I needed to add 6 blocks on this side of the equation to equal 4 plus 2. And that's right, because 4 plus 2 is 6. Most of the problems that you have probably seen look like this. 5 plus 3 is equal to what? All you have to do is find out what goes inside of the box. Well, since you know that both sides of the equal sign are the same, you know that 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. But what if you didn't know about the 3? And there was a box here. It would be 5 plus box is equal to 8. Well, since you're just missing a different piece of information, of course it's still going to be 3. But what if I didn't know that before I was doing the problem? What if I was doing box plus 3 is equal to 7? Now I'm going to figure it out on a balance. So I have a question mark which is my box, plus 3 is equal to 7. And I want to find out what the question mark is. Well, I'm going to take away one block from each side. That way, the balance stays level. And there's no more that I can take away without getting into the question mark. So now I know that what goes in the box is 4, since the question mark is balanced with 4 blocks. Now that I've solved this problem on the balance, I can do it on the board. So I have box plus 3 is equal to 7, and I want to find out what's inside of the box. Well, how did I do it on the balance? I just took away 3 from each side. So I have 3 minus 3, which is equal to 0, which means that on this side of the equation, I really just have the box left. And that is equal to 7 minus 3, which is 4. So that means I know that the box is equal to 4. Back in the original problem, that would mean that 4 plus 3 is equal to 7, and that works. But what if you have a subtraction problem? Blank minus 3 is equal to 6. Well, you solve it pretty much the same way. You need to add 3 to both sides this time. So you have minus 3 plus 3, and that is 0. So pretty much on this side of the equation, again, all you have is the box. And that is equal to what? We well, need to add 3 to this side as well, since you always have to do the same thing to both sides. 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. That means the number that would go into your box is 9. So since the box is equal to 9, I know that 9 minus 3 is equal to 6. So you see, you can use the opposite operation to help you solve for an unknown. Just remember to do the same thing to both sides of the equation.